Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to refill the water tank on a Keurig coffee maker. This will be a super duper easy tutorial and also a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. Now it's an easy tutorial because it's so easy to do. And it's a full tutorial because you can take this method and apply it to virtually any Keurig coffee machine that you come across because they work in a very similar manner what I have here is the Keurig K Supreme coffee machine okay now the water tank is on the side okay and you'll most likely find a water tank on the machine either on the side or on the back it kind of all depends on um, which which machine you're looking at most coffee machines most single serve coffee machines have a similar feature like that where the water machine the water tank is gonna be on the side or on the back just like that okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first remove the water tank okay make sure that you're not brewing you're not in the process of brewing or anything like that so remove the water tank just like that okay as you can see it just lifts out of place you might find the clear clip or a lever or a latch. In this case, it just lifts out of place. So you wanna remove it however you have to remove it, okay? Then you're gonna make your way over to your faucet or sink, okay, or tap. Um, and I'll tell you an alternative way in just a moment. You're gonna remove the lid. Now this one comes right off. In some cases, it might just flip open, okay? You're gonna fill it up. I like to use nice cold water. Make sure I'm only using the cold feature of the, of the faucet. So you're gonna fill it up, okay? And there's a max line. It's very important you do not go above the maximum fill line. So fill it up just like this, okay? Um, now, I, I literally, mine was completely empty, as you can see right there. Completely, completely empty, okay? Don't go above the max line. I would go just a little bit below, just to play it safe, right? Just play it safe. So then you're going to put the lid back in place, just like that, okay? Then you're going to take it and you're going to place it in, in place again. Now, depending on your machine, you might have an orientation of the of the water tank. It might go a certain way, right? In this case, I'm going to put it back just the way that I saw it, just like that. As you can see, we've now refilled the um, water tank on the cured machine, okay? Now, like I said, um, and the add water light was on before, okay? Um, and now that I refilled the water, the add water light is off now, okay? Which is, you know, it, it should, your add water light should go off once you refill the tank, okay? Now, alternatively, you can also get a jug of water and pour it into the, uh, into the actual reservoir if you are not nearby a sink, faucet, or tap, okay? Um, and like I said, the majority of Keurig machines are gonna work in a similar manner. This is the K-Supreme coffee machine, but if you have a different Keurig machine, you can still take these instructions and just slightly alter them to fit your specific unit, okay? Um, in addition, check out the manual, the user manual, to get exact specific instructions for your machine if you desire to do so. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.